We've got a major travel announcement to tell you about that really should help ease some of the congestion on the area's busiest roads. So this is what it looks like driving along I-85 in Gaston County. Very, very busy. It's always busy. But a brand new light rail extension might change all that, and it just got the green light. It is called the Silver Line, and it would start at CPCC Levine, making stops in uh, downtown Matthews, and then continue on all the way through uptown Charlotte, and then on to Belmont. NBC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner is uh, live tonight in Belmont. Brandon, this could really be a game changer for anybody that lives in Gaston County that gets mired down in all that traffic on 85 all the time. Absolutely, Bill. We have the traffic right now. It's the common sight you see with the headlights coming all the way from Charlotte into Gaston County. The light rail right now is being proposed right where I'm standing. The track's going right through here. The idea to make traffic easier and bring investment to the county. Just steps from one of the only roads connecting Gaston County and Charlotte. I've been fishing here since uh, 2006. Mohammed Amin's fishing oasis. It's peaceful. Not many people come here. But more people may soon cross over, as the sound of cars rumbling above him could include another noise. In a meeting last night, Charlotte's Metropolitan Transit Commission is officially jumping aboard the plan to extend the Lynx light rail across the Catawba River into Belmont using US 74. City leaders dub it the Silver Line. While his fishing spot could get noisy, Amin wouldn't mind it. That would be great because of the traffic. Both I-85 and US 74 often experience afternoon rush hour gridlock, and he and others hope the light rail will ease up traffic. Besides commuters, Gaston County Economic Development Commission's Donnie Hicks hopes the light rail will also bring over money. The investment opportunity will be huge. All you have to do is look at what happened in Charlotte along the light rail line. And we think it can help us immensely solve transportation problem and improve the development opportunities that we have. The Silver Line is still on the drawing boards, but Amin says he already knows it'll help because he's seen it work elsewhere. Now I came from Brooklyn, New York, so it should make a difference. And we may not see those rails till 2030, but the first thing they have to do in the county is replace the US 74 bridge. That will come before even putting down any rails. Reporting live in Gaston County, I'm Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte.